What up, what up, YouTube family? It's your boy Eric Brundage, aka E Rock Swag, aka Slave. And today I'm just here to talk with you guys about some motivational stuff. But don't forget to like and subscribe to the page. Uh, hashtag follow your dreams. Hashtag dream big. Hashtag LL Inc. That again is hashtag LL INC. And today we about to talk about some motivational things, you know, the 10 steps to success as I see it, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people might have their own perspectives and, and uh, understandings of success, but this is just my personal um, um, opinion on success. And, uh, you know, I always bring up to y'all some knowledge, and this is a book. It's called The Happiness Advantage by Sean Ecker. It's a great book. It talks about the seven principles of, to positive psychology to fuel that success, performance, and work. It's a really, really good book. You know, I can't get into it, but it, uh, I don't want to kind of give it away too much. But, you know, literally, if you get a chance, try to obtain that book and get it and read it. So let's get it started. You know what I'm saying? My first 10 steps to success. Rule number one is to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, you won't do it. The man who said he can, the man who said he can, they're both correct. So you got to believe that you're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? That's really what matters most in, in, in this game of success because at the end of the day, you only got yourself in this world, you know what I'm saying? I know you got your mom, your dad, sister, brother, auntie, uncle, and all that, but they can't want it for you, you know what I'm saying? Like, they can lead you to the fountain, but they can't make you take the sips and the drink. So, you know, that's rule number one to believe in yourself. And rule number two, follow your heart. No matter how hard, how difficult the mind or whatever you're thinking on your mind may be, follow your heart, follow your bliss, because your bliss is what's going to get you to where you want to be. Understand that everything happens in minute steps. Nothing is just going to happen just like that. You know what I'm saying? It's literally taking your time to get things done. Success is a lot of little things done well and consistently. So that's rule number two, to follow your heart. Rule number three, keep positive energy, man. You got to be happy and enjoy the process. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, man, you following your bliss and following your heart and keeping positive energy has no choice but to allow you to manifest your dreams and your desires. Literally, if you hang around four broke people, you're going to be the fifth one. You hang around four millionaires, you're going to be the fifth one. And by the way, I got this book from a very, very wealthy man. We sat up in the back of his condo, and literally, I'm just like, you know what, man? You got a nice place, got a nice head on your shoulders, a nice mind, man. What is it that you do to, you know, pass the time around and make the most of your time? And he had a little section of books, and he's just like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a book that will really benefit you. Like, you know, read it, understand it. So, you know, I took the time out to read it and understand it myself and, and, and understand something, man. Like, like people just think differently. You just got to be wired differently. You got to utilize the time that you have because think about it time flies you know what i'm saying it's always going to go and it's always going to move like most people don't even know about the four four uh four o'clock in the morning news like right now where i'm at man it's 3 30 i'm up early surely in the morning and once i finish this video teaching y'all about my mentality of success i'm going right to the gym i'm getting my work in you see my brand in the background today we decided to just go with jackets and hoodies was goody you know what i'm saying just let y'all know what we don't but no it's always about keeping that positive energy and rule number four remain focused your main focus is to remain focused like all of the other stuff don't matter you know what i'm saying like it's like watching the tv screen when you watching the basketball court you watching the game you ain't watching the fans you ain't watching nobody else you watching the ball and who got it and who moving and who playing you know what i'm saying like your main focus literally needs to be to remain focused like literally that's very very important because if you got these distractions and you allow these distractions to take you off your course that course, instead of just going straight, you're going to be here and here and here. And what's that's taking up? Tick, 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 time. So rule number four, main focus is to remain focused. And rule number five, work your tail off. Nothing in this world come easy. You got to work for everything that you have. So work your behind off and work like it really, really matters to you. And understand something. You're going to have time where you're going to have your friends, family. You're going to want to hang out and do stuff of that sort. And that's okay. But understand something. If you do 100 push-ups a day, you're going to reap the benefits of those 100 push-ups a day. But if you're doing 20 push-ups a day, you're not going to see the results as fast as you will see them if you're doing 100 a day. So literally, put quality time into your work and try to maximize the opportunity cost. The opportunity cost of you going out partying could be the same cost of you staying in, putting work into your craft. So your main focus is to remain focused and you gotta work your tail off. Rule number six, it sounds simple, it sounds easy, but create a schedule. 
Because if you create a schedule, then you prioritize certain things over certain things, which will give you more time to make quality use of the time that you have. And when you prioritize your schedule, things become more consistent. You start to figure out, hey, you know, I got this time to do this. I got this time to do that. And then you start to prioritize the things that matter the most to you because it's like, yo, I'm free right now. I got too much free time. No, benefit from the free time and work on your craft and do whatever it is that you got to do to get right and put yourself in the right alignment of what the desires of your heart is because that's going to allow you to get accustomed to the consistency of doing what you need to do to be where you want to be. So now we got no rule number, number six and let's go to rule number seven. Create a vision board. You know, like when you create a vision board, it allows you to you know, focus mentally on the things that you want. And when you focus on the things that you want, they happen. You know, they follow into the fruition of you happy, you peaceful, you creating an energetic field that is allowing your heart's desire to become true. And I said this in my last video, act as the blossom of thought. Nothing happens in the physical in the hand without happening in the spiritual first so you got to see it in the mind to hold it in the hand and that's 10 times out of 10 so literally affirmations and your vision board and your affirmations can literally be something of i desire to have this or i desire to do that you say it to yourself before you go to sleep at night and first thing you do when you wake up in the morning and maybe take like mm, probably like two or three minutes while you're laying in a bed and just literally visualize yourself already having what it is that you desire and then when you utilize your affirmations before you go to bed you literally say them to yourself and when you go to sleep you might get some signs or signals in your dreams that may allow you to get closer or even show you the pathway to bettering those thoughts to make them reality so now we're going to roll number eight Rule number eight kind of ties in with rule number seven as far as the affirmations and the vision boards but meditate because when you meditate, you literally don't worry about the future. You don't worry about the past. You enjoy the now. And when you enjoy the now, you're able to allow yourself to get accustomed to feeling at peace. Understand that you are not your thoughts. Your thoughts are not you at all. But when you meditate and you close your eyes, you control your prana, your chi, your breath. You are able to control the body, the mindset from anything that is outwardly distracting you. Literally, all you have to do, I know it might sound simple, but <sighs> literally, think about your how, how you feel. And when you understand how you feel while you're meditating, it's like, do it make you feel good or do it make you feel bad? Okay, so if I'm feeling bad while I'm meditating, so then I know what things I need to get rid of to make me feel good. Because you really, really want to feel good in this process because it's beautiful. You know, me talking to you is literally, you know, allowing you to understand like, hey, I'm right there to my dreams. Like you already have what you want because what you want, wants you. And that's how energy works. So now that we understand that perspective, let's go on to rule number nine. Rule number nine to me should be like rule number one or two. What's your why? You know, like why are you doing what you want to do? Like why are you doing what you're doing right now? You know what I'm saying? Like literally you need to take the mindset that you have now and apply it to whatever it is that you want. You know what I'm saying? Because if you know your why and you focus on that why, it's going to allow you to focus on accomplishing your goals because that's just extra added motivation to get to your dreams, baby. Just got to work it. You know what I'm saying? Like literally see it, believe it, and hold it in your hand. In addition to holding it in your hand, know why you want to hold it in your hand. Is it your family? Is it debt? Is it stress? Is it because you want to prove people wrong? Whatever it is, understand your why. And rule number 10. Very, very, very overlooked. Gratitude. You always got to show gratitude and have a positive attitude. Because gratitude will get you to where you want to be. Literally, thanks for giving. The way that energy works, it goes back and comes back the same way that you sent it. So if you out here doing things with a shady mentality, best believe it's going to come right back on you. But if you do things with a positive mentality and a kindness in your heart, it's going to come right back to you. So literally, you have to have a kind heart in this process because if you have a kind heart in this process, then you're going to do good things for other people. And that's one of the things that this book talks about. You know, I don't want to give y'all too much information, but I do want y'all to obtain that book. You know what I'm saying? You could probably get it on Amazon, maybe go on eBay. Once again, it's called The Happiness Advantage. 
literally, you can look at the book right here, The Happiness Advantage. And I want y'all to really invest in that book because it's a really, really good book. But no, seriously, show gratitude in all that you do. And don't forget to like, subscribe to the page. And I'm just trying to give y'all the 10 keys to success from how I see it. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, that's all I'm trying to talk to you guys about. I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying. I hope you guys apply the things that I taught you. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the page. And you know your boy, I'm checking out the hashtag dream big. Hashtag LL Inc. That again is L-L-I-N-C. It's your boy, Eric Brundage, a.k.a. E-Rock Swag, a.k.a. Flav. And I'm checking out. Peace.